Welcome to Pizzao Home Video. All right, folks, I'm giving away both the Synapse Films, Demons, and Demons 2 4Ks. Check out the pinned comment below for all the details. And if 4K is not your thing, I'm also giving away the Blu-rays along with the 4Ks over on my Instagram. You can find that link in the pinned comment as well. Demons and Demons 2 are movies that I've talked about in the past, at least a couple of times. So I won't bore you with traditional reviews of either here. Besides, most of you already know of or probably own these movies already on some format or another and just want to know, how do they look on 4K? However, I would be remiss if I didn't go into at least some detail. Both films were produced by Dario Argento and directed by Lumberto Bava, and despite being called demons, they're really more akin to zombie movies. However, instead of a bite, if a demon scratches you, you'll become a demon. One demon makes two demons, two demons make four demons, and so on, until you're swimming in demons. Hmm. That sounds like a... Actually, no. That sounds like a really bad name for a band. In the case of the first film, demons besiege patrons of a movie theater during a screening of, what else, a horror movie. In the case of Demons 2, it's the residents of a high-rise apartment building. Both movies are great fun with killer soundtracks, plenty of bloodshed, awesome makeup and gore effects, and the overall fun factor is off the charts. The first film is by far the better of the two. It's an adrenaline and tension-filled thrill ride. Part 2, produced only a year later, feels less inspired, retreading most of the same beats from the first film, just in a different location. Baba even cast some of the same actors from the first film, in different roles of course, but still. If Return of the Living Dead, also released in 1985, is the punk rock zombie movie, then Demons would be the heavy metal alternative, a speedball of a movie that takes no prisoners. Demons 2 would be the aftermath of that bender, when the delirium would make you think that demons were crawling out of your television set, and everything gave you a distinct sense of deja vu. I highly recommend both movies, and I highly recommend these new 4K releases from Synapse Films. When it comes to presentation, the sleeves are reversible. On both releases, we get the original poster art on one side, and the alternate poster art on the reverse. Inside the Demons release, we get a gold ticket to the Metropole. Inside the Demons 2 release, we get an invitation to Sally's birthday party. I don't know how Sally has so many friends. She's such a... Idiot! As for Demons, this is another superb 4K release from Synapse Films. The image quality is highly detailed, which perfectly complements the gorgeously, ghastly Demons makeup and gore effects. Skin tones look natural, colors pop, particularly blues, reds, and greens. So that green slime or whatever it is that the demons are constantly drooling practically flies off the screen at you. I've owned demons on a multitude of formats in the past, and I can say without hesitation that this is the best that demons has ever looked. For audio, we get an uncompressed DTS HD Master Audio English and Italian 5.1 and 2.0 audio mixes on the original cut derived from the archival audio masters. I watched with the English track enabled, and I thought Demon sounded full-bodied, robust, and crystal clear. A big plus considering the rockin' soundtrack and the awesome score by Claudio Simonetti. Overall, I'd give both the picture quality and the sound quality on this release perfect scores. 5 out of 5. As far as extras are concerned, first up we have Produced by Dario Argento. It's 27 minutes and 13 seconds in length. It's a video essay by Michael McKenzie in which he discusses Argento's work as a producer and the films he helped get made from the TV anthology Door into Darkness to Dawn of the Dead, the Demons films, the Church, the Sect, and more. We're also treated to a slew of archival extras, including Dario's Demon Days, an archival interview with Dario Argento. It's 10 minutes and 30 seconds in length. Defining an Era in Music, an archival interview with composer Claudio Simonetti. It's 9 minutes and 34 seconds in length. 
Next, we have Splatter Spaghetti Style, an archival interview with longtime Argento collaborator Luigi Cosi. It's 11 minutes and 27 seconds in length. Next, we have Carnage at the Cinema, an archival interview with Lamberto Bava. It's 36 minutes and one second in length. Next, we have Dario and the Demons, an interview with Dario Argento. It's 15 minutes and 51 seconds in length. Next, we have Monstrous Memories with Luigi Cosi. It's 30 minutes and 18 seconds in length. Next, we have Profondo Jones, the critical perspective with Alan Jones, author of Profondo Argento. It's 17 minutes and 39 seconds in length. We get Splatter Stunt Rock, an interview with stuntman Ottaviano Ata- Delacroix. It's 9 minutes and 12 seconds in length. Next, we have a Q&A with Sergio Stavaletti from the Festival of Fantastic Films, Manchester, England in 2019. It's 36 minutes and 13 seconds in length. We get the Italian trailer, the International English trailer, and the U.S. trailer. And we get two audio commentaries, the first with Kat Ellinger and Heather Drain, and the second with Bava Stivaletti, Claudio Simonetti, and Giretta Giretta. This release also includes three different cuts of Demons, the full-length original cuts in both English and Italian, and the shorter U.S. version featuring alternate dubbing and sound effects. When it comes to Demons 2, this is also a beautiful 4K remaster, but with some caveats. Demons 2 has a significantly darker appearance here than I've ever seen it, which impacts the overall colors of the film, and it's just not quite as vibrant looking as the 4K for Demons. The darkness never looks murky or grainy, and there's still plenty of detail present. I did notice a couple of instances where the image was jittery. That's the only way I can describe it. The first time it happened, it was brief, and I didn't think that much of it. But later in the movie, there's another instance of the jitter that's quite noticeable. I went back and watched it again, thinking maybe it was just my player, or my old eyes were playing tricks on me, or I'd had a little too much of the good doctor. It happens. But no, the jitter was still jittering. It's definitely not a deal breaker when it comes to this release. It only happens a couple of times, at least, that I noticed. And one of the times was very brief. But when it did happen the second time, like I said, it was pretty noticeable. For audio, we get an uncompressed DTS HD Master Audio English 5.1 and Italian 5.1 and 2.0. Audio mix is derived from the original archival audio masters. I watched with the English track enabled and thought Demons 2 sounded just as clear, just as crisp, and just as full-bodied as Demons. I'd give the image quality on this release a 4 out of 5 and the sound quality a 5 out of 5. As far as extras are concerned, first up we have Together and Apart, a new visual essay on space and technology in Demons and Demons 2 by Alexandra Heller Nicholas. It's 26 minutes and 36 seconds in length. When it comes to the archival extras, first up we have Creating Creature Carnage, an interview with special makeup effects artist Sergio Stivaletti. It's 20 minutes and 29 seconds in length. Next we have Bava to Bava, an interview with Luigi Cosi on the history of Italian horror. It's 16 minutes and 43 seconds in length. Next we have Demonic Influences, an interview with Federico Zampaglioni. It's 10 minutes and 22 seconds in length. Next, we have The Demon's Generation. Roy Bava discusses a legacy of lacerations. It's 34 minutes and 50 seconds in length. Next, we have The The New Blood of Italian Horror with Sergio Stivaletti. It's 16 minutes and 15 seconds in length. We have Screaming for a Sequel, The Delirious Legacy of Demons 2 with Lamberto Bava, which is 15 minutes and 59 seconds in length. Next, we have a soundtrack for Splatter, an interview with composer Simon Boswell. It's 27 minutes and 8 seconds in length. We get the Italian trailer and the International English trailer, and we get an audio commentary with Travis Crawford. We are treated to two cuts of Demons 2 on this release, an English version and an Italian version. These are beautiful 4K releases for both Demons and Demons 2 from Synapse Films. If you're a fan of either of these movies, then these releases should definitely be in your collection. Again, if you'd like to win the 4Ks or the Blu-rays for Demons and Demons 2, check out the pinned comment below. And while you're down there in the comment section, let me know what your favorite Lamberto Bava film is. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace.
A huge thank you to all my patrons and channel members for your generosity and support. Become a patron today and get early access to videos, have a say in what content appears on my channel, join me for monthly live streams, exclusive watch parties, and more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream, as well as members-only watch parties. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.